What's up team? I'm former United States Army Ranger Joshua Thompson. In this video, I'll be giving you guys a glimpse into my mind and how I developed a mindset that doesn't quit. It got me through schools like RASP, Ranger School, and yes, even Airborne School. I know everyone wants to improve their push-ups, their running, and everything else that's involved in their PT, but ultimately, your mindset is the most important aspect when it comes to these selections. This video will be the first in my mindset video series, so be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications because you're going to need every single one of these aspects of mindset that I'm going to cover in each video in order to develop a strong mentality. Now many people are going to tell you a strong mentality is something you're born with and you can't develop it. They'll say you either have it or you don't. I completely disagree with this statement. I believe as long as you don't have any physical or mental disability, and all your bones are still in one piece, there aren't any screws in your bodies, and then good news. You can do anything anyone's ever achieved without exception. All you need are the right tools, and it starts with your mentality. Now, if you think you are the exception to this, well, first off, you're wrong, but that is a limiting belief. A limiting belief is a mental block that holds you back from trying something new or pursuing your goals. Statements like, oh, I'm, I'm not a techie person, or, I suck at math. I'm, I'm a terrible math person. I, I don't math. Or something that hits more at home. Worm PT is super hard. I, I don't know how much longer I can do this. Or I can't handle the smokies. There's eight more weeks of this? Well, if my batted body quit, there's no way I can do this. Not only are these limiting beliefs going to urge you to quit, but the cadre are going to verify what you're saying in your own mind verbally. Candidate. You're not cut out for this. Candidate, you should just quit. This isn't for everybody, candidates. Stuff like that, right? They're gonna tell you that over and over and over again. I remember back when I was going through the rasp, I was completely exhausted in the middle of a smoking session. I would just look down at my watch and be like, oh my God, only five minutes have gone by. I thought at least 30 minutes have passed. It's only then when your mind comes to the true realization of just how much pain is ahead of you, right? Your mind will come to the conclusion, there's eight more weeks of this. I don't even know if I can make it through today. This is crazy. It can look like this insurmountable mountain that you have to climb, and that can be daunting for a lot of people. That alone can terrify someone into quitting. So my solution is that I would divide my smokings into little 10 minute snippets, little 10 minute segments of a smoking. I'd tell myself, I'd look down at my watch and be like, okay, I just need to get through the next 10 minutes. And then I'd get through those 10 minutes. i look down, I'd be like, okay, I made it through the 10 minutes. I can still go another one. I'd just keep going. Cause I knew I could make it through at least those 10 minutes. Eventually it all stopped. Eventually the smokings were over. And mind you, it's really easy to quit guys. All you have to do to quit is just walk up. You don't have to say anything to anyone. Just stand by the, the staircase next to the doorway and there you go, that's it. You've verified to yourself that in tough times, there is a way out. It's to quit. And that's exactly what it is. It's a way out. You're not walking in the door where you want to be. You're walking away from your goals, away from your dreams. And I get it, some people don't actually understand what they actually signed up for. And that is at the end of the day, you signed up to do hard Ranger, SEAL, SF, whatever. These are just the fancy title. What you actually signed up for is to do hard And most people don't know hard until they get there, right? There's a very distinct difference between talking about doing hard stuff and doing hard stuff. And because not everyone can do it, that's what makes it special. Now I can go on and on about the mentality to motivate you guys because it's fun, but I'd rather give you guys a tool to help build your mentality rather than toot the same horn because you can't build a strong mentality just listening to motivational videos. To me, motivational videos are just the celebration of the mentality rather than actually giving you a tool to build up the skill because your mentality is a skill. Instead, I'll give you guys an exercise as the first step to start building your mental fortitude because don't get it confused, mentality is something you can build. It is a skill that you can build up over time. And alternatively, motivation is not a skill. It's a feeling. Motivation runs out. Motivation quits. Motivation is not going to get you through selection. The way that I trained up my mentality for selection was that I became very, very familiar with physical discomfort. Discomfort that will feel straining, maybe even it feel unsustainable. And so at the end of every workout, or if I didn't work out that day, at the end of the day, I would pick an exercise that I needed to improve on. So for me, I needed to work a lot on sit-ups. So I do a lot of flutter kicks and core exercises. But for you, it may be, you know, push-ups. And then I'd set the timer for 10 minutes and I would perform the exercise for 10 minutes straight. Now you might be thinking, 
that's not sustainable. There's no way you could do flutter kicks or push-ups for 10 minutes straight. Or maybe you could if you paced yourself. I wasn't pacing myself. And you would be right in thinking this. Because I wasn't performing it for 10 minutes straight so that I could do the exercise for 10 minutes straight. I was doing flutter kicks for 10 minutes straight so that my body would be physically strained for 10 minutes. This is a task that will help build your mentality over time. Right? You're not supposed to do the exercise for 10 minutes straight and be able to do it. If you are, do a different exercise. The point of this exercise is to make sure that you're in physical strain so that is a mental exercise. You want to be strained so much that you want to quit. All you have to do is put your best effort forward for those 10 minutes straight because that's what the cadre are looking for. You know going into RASP, you're not gonna be able to do all the push-ups. You're not gonna be able to do all the sit-ups, all the exercises they tell you to do. They're not looking for people who could just blast through everything. They're looking for people who aren't gonna quit. So all you have to do is put yourself in, a men in that mental state of I'm not going to quit throughout those 10 minutes. Notice also how it is 10 minutes long. Just how I took selection 10 minutes at a time. In my opinion, if you can make it through those 10 minutes, you can make it through selection. Obviously the rules are, if your feet touch the ground or they're not moving in any sort of way where you're performing the exercise, then consider that as you have quit the exercise. Also to fuel yourself in your motivation, think of it as you quit selection. Anyways guys, I hope you take this tip seriously and add it to your daily routine. It certainly helped me out when I was going through selection and it was one of the main reasons I was able to build up my mentality and not quit. If you guys liked this video and thought it was helpful in any way and hit the subscribe button for more mentality and PT improvement videos just like these, send me your energy. If you guys thought I missed anything or would like to add something, please go ahead and comment your thoughts down in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching and for your support and I'll see you guys in the next one.